Welcome to my channel. My name is David and this is All Natural Edge Designs and what you're watching here is basically what I do on a regular basis. We collect and recover logs that would otherwise be destined for the burn pile, chip mill, maybe get turned into paper products, maybe lumber, but this log was so big that nobody wanted to mess with it and the customer that owned this tree had asked me to come in and salvage it. It was a family property and their grandfather had planted this tree and I was commissioned to make a 24 foot boardroom table out of this log. This tree is 35 feet long. It's over 160 years old. It's a uh, Douglas fir and what you're watching is basically what I encounter on a regular basis. A uh, pretty bad situation where it's very hard to get to and I hire really some of the best people in Oregon to work with. And this gentleman here is trying to figure out how to get this log up over that stump and grabbing it in the right spot without dumping his machine. Usually when they get squirrely like that, the operators will just quit, but not Dusty. He is amazing. Every time I call him, he's never left me hanging because he knows it's important to me. This wood will feed my family for probably uh, a few months at least, but um, I'm going to be making a 24-foot boardroom table out of this in the upcoming videos. What I do is I recover logs from wherever they need to be recovered, usually urban settings, and then I take them back to my uh, property and we mill them. We stack, sticker, and dry them, and if it's a hardwood, it's usually a year per inch. If softwood, it's a month per inch and a good season, and then I kiln dry it, and then I will come up with a design and create heirloom quality fine art. Functional fine art is really what I specialize in. And when we recover a log like this, we never know what we're going to come into. You know, there can be metal, there can be insulators. I mean, I've found chains in them. Um, so you really don't know what you're going to get into. But at the end of the day, the goal is to leave behind a satisfied client. And that's what I really specialize in is um, I'm a boutique business and we really deal with a lot of interesting fun things. I've made everything from sculptures to uh, wall hangers, beds, furniture, um, countertops, tables, um, really anything that somebody can come up with I've created and this gentleman found me uh, he's out of I believe Nebraska and he found me on the internet and decided to hire me since I was close to his hometown. And over the last 15 years, I've figured out how to make a living with my God-given gifts of woodworking. And this log is really daunting. It's over 22,000 pounds, 11 tons, one single log, 35 feet long. He said this is the largest log he's ever recovered. And... Uh, I would agree. This is the largest log that I've come across in one full piece without a crane. I've done heavier logs with cranes, but as a self-loader, really this just shows the skill and dedication of this particular operator. Um, I really appreciate working with such dedicated individuals who really take their, um, their talents to the next level. I mean, that's what I do every day. And my goal is to work and surround myself with people like this. I brought my son along with me because school hadn't started yet. It was pretty early, but I thought, you know, this would be a good example for him to show him if he wants to get into woodworking, what he's going to encounter. This right here is where he picked up a piece of bark that broke off. Uh, just showing some more of his skill set. I asked him if he wins the fuzzy animals and prizes at, at the arcade for his kids. And